Okay, once again, it's been about nearly two weeks since our last video. If you recall what I've cooked, uh, I think it was the rice wine chicken, right? And uh, as I promise, I will be making the uh, Shanghai style stir fried fish. However, that didn't happen. I ended up getting some uh, mackerel, a bottle of kimchi, and some uh, tofu. I ended up making another. Uh, uh, Homemade Korean kimchi to I mean macro stew in kimchi, you know. And the only difference this time is that I put uh, ground pork into the dish, uh, pork itself, and got rid of a lot of that fishy smell. Plus, made the whole thing more flavorful, which came out great. Now today, we'll be making uh, another Taiwanese dish. Okay. Uh, this is a matter of fact one of my favorite, favorite dishes around. Uh, you know what this is? This is a bitter melon. Okay, uh, like a squash. It's got a lot of lumps on this. Looks kind of like a kind of got the texture of a toad. Okay, uh, now the this this is widely eaten right now in the worldwide. It's a it's a great health health food. I know some of you out there from the Caribbean might also know know this this fruit. Uh, generally speaking, they come like this. Uh, I get this from the Chinese supermarket, and this is about uh, uh, 99 cents a pound. It's good stuff. Uh, good for summertime, good for your skin. Uh, you know, people got a sore throat, you can eat this. Got pimple breakouts, you can eat this. Also, it's a great antioxidant. So, definitely keep in mind about this thing. Now, this dish is, this dish is very straightforward. It contains two parts. One is the preparation. And number two, just simply stir fry. Again, we got some ginger here, okay. And the most important thing, obviously, is this. This is uh, one of my ugly-looking peeled uh, preserved duck eggs. You see, this is how the egg looks like right here, okay. Uh, as you can see, Taiwan, all right, Taiwan. Shou xian ya de, meaning uh, boiled. Salt duck eggs. You can get this from any Chinese supermarket. They will have these come in different brands and uh, it's already cooked. The funny thing about this thing is, the, the, I mean the irony about this whole cooking is that we have a super healthy health food versus a, a high cholesterol preserved duck egg. But I guess, you know, cancel each other out. However, uh, you know, I don't know, I'm the kind of guy is just eat right and die, whatever man, just kind of Feel good, feel good. Everything's about pleasure. So, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna crack this egg. Let's uh, make sure we don't go over too long because I got about 20 minutes in here. And uh, let's see here. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just gonna crack this egg. It's gonna be kind of tough to crack, okay? I mean, so don't worry if uh, you make a mess cracking this thing, it's okay. I mean, uh, make sure you, we get most of the stuff intact, which is good enough. Um, several times here, it is June 2nd, um, lately, uh, besides cooking, I've been advancing on my photography, uh, last Sunday I successfully met up with uh, a few more people from Flickr.com and went to uh, Central Park, New York, uh, we basically did some documentaries on the uh, Japan Day Festival 2009, afterwards uh, four of us all carrying Nikons, uh, we roam the whole city. Um, so here we go, here's the egg right here. So what I'm gonna do with this is, I'm just gonna cut them, dice them, you know, break them down to smaller pieces. All right? It's gonna make your chopboard real nasty. I mean, this is, this is all egg right here. But, uh, you don't really need to cut them too, 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 too thick. I mean, after all, once you stir fry this stuff, it will become smaller pieces. All right. So again, this is a preparation process. Oh yeah, by the way, once again, this is uh, you're watching a cooking show with your man, the host, one and only, P Y Z Peter, or otherwise known as Z the Spitter, because you know I ain't quitter. I'm right here, cooking up the nice stuff. Just call me Martin Yen the second. Cause PZ, I'm coming at you, no resistance. A cooking show so nice, consistent. You know the way I do it. I bust it like that. Uh, crack open the frame. Seven fly, whatever. Get your breakdown easy. Oh, haven't heard me freestyle for a while, huh? 
Oh, here we go. So we got the preserved duck eggs broken down. Uh, I already got some bitter melon right here, which is what I'm putting into a pot. What am I gonna do is this. Let me just show you how this thing looks like. Okay, I'm gonna chop both ends off. Okay. Then I'll cut in the middle. Break again. Again. So what you wanna do is this. As you can see inside, it's got a lot of seeds in here, okay? What you wanna do is use a spoon and you wanna scoop the stuff up. So you wanna scoop it up. Scoop it up. Basically prepare a trash can. So I have a trash can right here on the bottom. You see that? I'm just gonna scoop it and push it up. Okay? The seeds are not, not good for eating. I think they're great for uh, constipation hurt, you know? Never tried it. Alright, I'm gonna push it out. And what you wanna do this, okay? Uh, you wanna soak this stuff in the water. Because uh, fresh like this, it won't be too bitter. Depending on how you like it. But generally speaking, you wanna just soak it up. So, I'm gonna cut them in half, or you can even crack them in half, okay? And I'll chop them to bits, slices, depending how big you want it. Alright? Don't wanna choke yourself. Alright, so we got. I'm gonna put them all into that pot. That pot's not for cooking, by the way. I'm gonna be soaking it up with water. And I'm gonna turn off the video camera for about 15 minutes. And we'll come back and we'll put everything together. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching the show. There will be more coming. Oh yeah, by the way, let me give you a little peek at my creation from yesterday. I'm sure you remember this dish from last time. You see? Uh, once again here, I got some uh, ground up pork in here. It came out great. This time it's even more tasteful. Because uh, I added more water this time, I boiled it longer. I dropped in one cube of the chicken bouillon. And uh, it was nice. So I'm gonna soak this in water. And while I let it soak, I'm gonna turn off the machine and I'll be back in 15 minutes.